Hello everyone. In today's demo, we are going to see how to manage your Elasticsearch cluster so that your costs are managed and you don't have a huge bill at the end of the period where you're running a cluster for a very long time. Say for example, you have an Elasticsearch domain which is running M4 instances all the time and after a period of time, you notice that the utilization of those machines are not really high and the number of documents that are coming into your cluster is not also very high. So you want to resize your in, uh, domain to a smaller instance type say for example a t2 small or a t2 medium instance how do you go about and do that that's what i'm going to show you today and there are two ways to do this one you can go ahead and do it from the gui that is the amazon console or you can also use a aws cli or a lambda function to make sure that say at the end of the month you're expecting a huge sales in your website and you want to scale up your elastic search cluster then you can run your lambda function which can automate and go ahead and increase the instance sizes of your domain and then after the end of the sale period you can go ahead and resize your cluster so let us go ahead to the gui and see where we can do that here in this uh, gui page here you see here i have only one domain right now this is the domain i run for my cloud trail cluster if i go inside it and here under instance health you find that there are one, there is only one instance and my CPU utilization is very, very less, say 3% and 1%. So if I go to my overview, you can see here it is currently running a T2 medium. So it is a little bigger. It's a smaller one, but it's still a bigger one. So I want to resize this cluster, uh, this cluster to run a smaller instance. So what I'm going to do now is going to configure cluster. And here I can choose this uh, even smaller one. You can see here there is a T2 small available and I'm just going to choose that one and come down and say submit. So that is how you do it from your GUI. Suppose say I don't want to do it or every time come to the console or it is too cumbersome to do it from the console, you can do this from your CLI also. That's what I'm going to do, show you now. The, the first command that you see on the screen is basically a way to describe the cluster. So what we are trying to describe here is, this is the cluster name, that is domain name and then i'm saying give me the instance type of the current cluster so if you remember from the gui we made it to t2 small so i'm just going to run this command so once i run this command we should be able to see the output that is t2 small for my cluster so we want to change this from t2 small to say t2 medium now so how shall i do that so the command to run is the update elasticsearch domain configuration and then in there is an option which says that uh, you need to give the domain name and then you need to mention the cluster configuration that we want to change and here we want to change it from small to medium so this is the command i'm just going to copy this and run it so it ran successfully and gave me an output i'm just going to run the previous command which will give the describe option so if i run it now it will say that i am running a t2 medium so that is how you go ahead and change the size of your cluster dynamically and i have shown you so many serverless functions so you can go ahead and automate it or schedule your configurations to synchronize with your business needs if you have any trouble in doing this in your account go ahead and put them in the comment section i'll try and help them with you thanks for watching happy learning